Hello everybody, happy Monday, I guess it is. Um, I'm going to be dropping a few videos. I'm going to try to do two videos a week. But anyways, before I get started, I want to say um, help, welcome. My name is LaShawn Terry. Uh, if you're new here, uh, welcome. Uh, have a seat. Take a look around. Subscribe. If you're not, click that notification bell so you will know when I upload next. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, why not? Give me a try. Give me that thumbs up when you come in. It's free. But um, let me get this stuff out. And I'll be right back, but let's listen to this intro. Okay, so we are back. I had to um, get my iPad, y'all. I broke my iPad. It dropped on the floor while I was in the concession stand. It was just cracked, y'all. I'm so pissed off. I think it also messed with some of the functions. Y'all see that? Oh, my goodness. I didn't drop it. It fell out my bag and face plant onto the ground in the um, concession stand. Anyways, um... So I'm here uh, to show y'all this new bath and um, body company that um, I came across on YouTube by some uh, influencers. And y'all know if you've been following me for a while, you know that um, I am a bath and body junkie. But I ain't just buying any old thing. That's the one thing. Um, I'm not buying any old thing. Um, it has to have the right ingredients. I like buying from small businesses. And um, kind of like um, handmade. So y'all know my number one love is Bubble Bistro. She's um, affordable. And um, I do come on with uh, other things that I come across. And so I came across this company called Skin Potion. Again, y'all know I love um, body products, bath and body products. And so um, I needed to try this. So I, it was kind of like after Black Friday when I went on, they didn't have much of anything left. So I assumed that they had like a Black Friday um, deal or whatever. And um, from watching some of the videos, some of the people looked like they was just getting their stuff like October, uh, maybe November, somewhere around there. So I had assumed Either they had um, a drop like September and then maybe another one um, for Black Friday or whatever. I don't know. Anywho, when I went on there, they did have an oil. I believe it was one oil left um, that was still available to order. And so I ordered it. Now, I could honestly say I don't think I ever paid this much money for one product and especially on a blind buy. Um, only thing I could go by was what was put in the description. And so basically, this oil is called Costa del Sol. Costa del Sol. Revitalizing Body Oil. Um, and he has some nice descriptions. His name is Ray. He's out of Long Island. And basically, um, hey, Ray, you know, we stomping from the same grounds. Hempstead in the house. I believe Ray is in Glendale. So it's Long Island. But, um, the description, it says introducing the new summer vibe. So, again, I just <laughs> came across this, I think, like in maybe November, I don't know, but it was one left that I was interested in and I thought it would smell good and I ordered it. But again, I never paid this much money. I don't believe for a body oil and on a blind buy. So it's an organic blend of cold pressed oils that were, were, were created 
by nature to deeply moisturize, illuminate, and tighten the skin. Imported Tahitian manure oil is infused with luscious passion fruit, pineapple, coconut, water, sugarcane, jasmine blossom, Caribbean rum, and sandalwood. He had me at coconut, pineapple, and sugarcane. <laughs> Um, it's organic passion fruit oil, organic manure oil, ja jasmine extract, sugar cane, pineapple enzymes. And I'm thinking I love a jasmine. Um, I like the scent jasmine. Um, and he gives his stories. He remembers spending a summer in El Salvador. I believe he is Spanish. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but he looks Spanish. So a summer in El Salvador with his family and visiting the most beautiful beaches with glowing sand. The beaches in Costa del Sol had such beautiful views and rich in fresh fruit. I know I love me some fresh fruit. So if you go on here, you could read all of that when you go to, through the thing. But this is a, um, what is it? It's a 3.4 ounce oil it comes in a pretty um jar and i'm about to show it to you his packaging is awesome for real i ain't tell you what the price of this is yet but i could tell you it's a splurge <laughs> um so this is the box that they come in all of his oils come in this box and this is it very nice presentation. Beautiful presentation. But I still ain't tell you what the price is. For this 3.4 ounce bottle of oil, it's $99. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know I had to really be interested in this oil to pay with tax and shipping. $114 for one bottle of oil. This is it, in case you don't believe me. When I went on there, that was the only oil, I believe, that was available was the Costa um, Del Sol. So I figured I'd buy this just to kind of get, um, get a feel for if I like his products or not. Or whatever, so... I said once, if I could get something, see if I like it, then if he do a restock, then I could pick up some more, um, you know, products. So this is the bottle. This is it. You can see all of the, um, I believe these are passion fruit pieces that are floating in here. And when I tell you, um, I was so nervous when I got this, I was like, Lord have mercy for $114. Please let this stuff smell good because I'm going to be too through if it don't. <laughs> and when I tell you, it was everything that he explained in here. Of course, the uh, pineapple. Pineapple is a very strong um, fragrance or it's a very strong smelling um, fruit when you put it in products. It can almost overtake, especially in drinks and stuff as well, because I use pineapple all the time in my drinks. It will take over um, a freight. Um, it will take over whatever it's in. But you can just smell uh, everything just blend so well. And um I really don't want to spray this because I have another scent on me. But um, it really does hydrate the skin. Oils are hydrators, not moisturizers, unless it has um, water or like an aloe vera juice or gel in it. Some people get those a little bit confused. Oils are not moisturizers. They hydrate. When you, a moisturizer is something that has liquid in it, like a um, water or like aloe vera juice. 
um, those would be considered moisturizers. So um, some people just don't know the difference uh, between the two. So um, this is, I mean, oh my gosh, this stuff smells so good. It's, it's, it has a strong scent. But it's very nice. You get the fruity. You get the, the flowers from the jasmine. Um, I don't know about no rum. Um, but just the way he blended this um, is really nice. Uh, it is strong. It does make the skin feel soft. Um, I have hard water where I am. So... Um, anything that I can put on and I'm not ashy in a couple of hours or I wake up in the morning is a damn good product <laughs> because the hard water here, I'm talking about tearing up, uh, pipes. Yeah. Type of, um, hard water. So anything that could cut through that and have you feeling soft and not, um, and skin feeling soft and not ashy, I would say is a huge win. Um, I wouldn't mind paying $199 to be quite honest. If I really like a product, um, I buy it. You have to, you have to say if, is it worth it for you? Um, and that's all I could give you on that. Can you buy, um, something cheaper, uh, same quality? Of course. Yeah. Bubble Bistro, like I said before, but um, he has a uh, very good quality, uh, products and, um, when you put quality ingredients and stuff into your product, you can afford to charge those prices. So I'm not going to, uh, take that away from him to say, you know, I could go to Bath and Body Works or something. You could, but you ain't going to get the same thing, you know, or uh, you can find cheaper handmade uh, quality, uh, products, you know, so this is the Costa del, Costa del Sol revitalizing body oil. And he just had a restock Friday. And yes, did I order another one? I have to look through my receipts. I believe I may have, I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know. I think I did. I ordered. Yeah, I think I, I might have. I'm not 100% sure. And he still has stuff on here that you can order. So the, that was my first one. So I got that. He did do a restock, I believe, in end of November, beginning of December. I'm not sure. I think I ordered that November 27th or whatever and it took about two weeks to come he do have on the website that um because they have high volume orders and all of his products are made to order please allow 14 to 16 business days for processing and shipping um so of course because i ordered that first that one came first he did a restock and then because i already knew kind of what how good quality his stuff was and I really liked it I went in and ordered more stuff again on the blind because I didn't you know they didn't have anything available that I wanted except for the cost of Del Sol so the next oil that I got that I heard so much hype on um, in the YouTube streets and I love bakery scents I love warm scents was the cookie butter and this is it. I also got the butter as well. Now, there was some mixed opinions on this cookie butter that I was reading before I got it. And um, I was a bit nervous. I was like, please, people were saying it smelled like maple syrup on them. And I said, please do not <laughs> let this stuff smell like no maple syrup after I done spent hundred and fifty dollars just on the two items again this is ninety nine dollars his butters are 40 and this is an eight ounce you can choose with some of them you can choose between um i think two ounce to eight ounce on some of them not all of them <clears throat> but 
<clears throat> people were saying that, and this was more than one person, it was multiple people saying on them it smelled like maple syrup. And I was like, Lord, please don't let this stuff smell like maple syrup. But it was a couple of people that said it smelled like butter pecan. And I said, I'll take butter pecan because that's like my favorite ice cream, butter pecan and pistachio. Those are my favorite ice creams. Um, so I take butter pecan. And so it came. And again, all of his oils come in these boxes. Very nicely done. Um, I have not used the oil yet. So here's the, the oil and the cookie butter. You can see the vanilla bean uh, floating in there. I'm trying to see if you can see as if he did some scrapings. Could happen. I don't know. But mine's, and I had my husband and my son smell it. I want to say this one can, I can see what people say, syrup. And I do smell like a warm bakery from this. I don't want to squirt it because I put that other stuff on my um, hand. But I want to tell you the butter. My cookie butter smells like butterscotch. And um, my, my son, my youngest son and my husband, I had them smell it separately. And they said it smells like butterscotch. And I love a butterscotch candy as well. And this is how it looks, nice and soft. Um, so yeah, it mine smells like a butterscotch and not syrupy at all. Thank goodness. Um, I have not used it yet. Um, just haven't really been in the warm bakery mood. But I can see where some people will say. Um, they may get a syrup or like a coffee type of smell. I can I can see that. But I have not squirt any of the cookie cookie butter out in the oil. But I could tell you my um my butter smells just like butterscotch. I don't want to, you know, because I put that other stuff and then I have one another scent as well. So I want to be mixing you know, all of this stuff. And this is going to be a long video, so I hope y'all sit through it with me. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. So the next oil that I got is Karma Sutra. And um, let me give you the... The thing on the cookie butter first. So he says this was a, a limited edition. They wasn't supposed to bring it back. But people love the cookie butter so much that um, he bought it back for the restock. But it says it's a blend of sugared pralines, bourbon, vanilla, and Madagascar. Cuban coffee and decadent caramel added to our triple butter formula. So I can see what people say. They smell more of the coffee. It's just what your nose is going to pick up. I can see what they say. The coffee. Um, but again, mine smell like butterscotch. And I'm all for it. And I don't even mind a little slight coffee scent. But I don't want to walk around smelling like a latte or pancakes uh, syrup. So, um... It's just all about what your nose is picking up from these scents. And mine and my family is picking up butterscotch on the cookie butter. Okay, now we're going to go to Karma Sutra, honey. Karma Sutra is the number one seller on here. And I'm trying to see because, again, they did a restock. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Karma Sutra sold out, y'all. And I ain't surprised. I believe I did maybe buy another Kama Sutra. I'm not sure. But this is the Kama Sutra. Now I bought the Kama Sutra in the butter as well. So 
So I bought the oil and the butter. And again, this was on a blind buy. And um, every, everybody raved who I watched about this Karma Sutra. Now, my scent profiles that I like is warm, sweet candies. I like some, you know, sweet bakeries, just warm scents. I cannot do masculine scents, spicy, anything like that. My nose just don't like it. Also, too, um, I cannot do scents that are too perfumey. That's why I had to stop buying perfume because I have really bad nasal allergies and my nose would start to hurt. My nasal passages would start to hurt. They would start to get inflamed um, and, and swollen. Like, you know, if you get a cold and your nose gets stopped up, but except for mine, I don't have a cold. Um, it's just my allergies. So I cannot do anything that's strong perfumey. I try to stay away from it, and that's why I stopped buying perfumes. And when I started back, I was looking for butters and oils because the um, the alcohol, I believe, that's in it is what triggers my allergies. <clears throat> um, so reading this, I was like, this sounds really good. People are really saying that this is the best one. And again, $40 and $99. <laughs> That's $139 on a blind buy. And I'm praying that this stuff is not too perfumey or anything like that. And I can use it and I, it smells good. So basically, the Karma Sutra is Bulgarian rose, lychee, papaya, and mango with amber, argawood. I don't know what that is, argawood. <laughs> but basically, um, I'm not a big floral person either. Um, it has to have some type of sweetness to it for me to do a floral scent. So I, I, I wouldn't... I, I was just praying like, Lord, they talking about this Kama Sutra. Please let me like it. This is the box. I have not used my oils yet. I'm going to just let them marinate. You can see the dried rose petals that are in here. They all are 3.4 ounces. And they are all squirt bottles, not spray. So they squirt out. So... I wore Kama Sutra last Sunday to church. I did not want to put this on when I went to bed because the way it smelled. Um, I wanted to be sure before I wore this to bed it wouldn't drive me crazy or kind of get on my nerves because it was strong. Baby, you can see I used it. Baby, let me tell you something. The woman ain't never lied when it came to this Karma Sutra. This stuff smelled good. I wore this to church. I showered a few times. And when I tell you, when I stepped in my room, I'm talking three, four days later, it was still smelling like Karma Sutra, all in my sheets. I washed my clothes last night, and I had the pair of panties I had on. <laughs> when I put on Karma Sutra, <laughs> I, didn't I just say I, I washed my clothes? I was still smelling that Karma Sutra on everything that I wore last Sunday to church through my wash. Even though I had washed my stuff, I was still smelling that Karma Sutra. And when I tell you when I put it on, that stuff was punching me in the face. And I was like, there's no way I could wear this to bed. <laughs> I have to be out to where the smell just, you know, floats around. I, I, I had to wait like a couple of hours 
you know, like later that night, it had dried down to like a soft, powdery. Mm. It, when you smell it, it's, it smells really nice and soft. You know, the way he put these together, it is a sensual combination. But when I put this on, it is is strong. <laughs> the what you smell it in the in the in this tin can. My gosh, you would never think that it radiated out like it did and would smell up everything like it did. I thought I had on the um. A wax melt. When I kept stepping into my room and I was still smelling this stuff like four days later in my sheets. And mind you, I put this on Sunday morning. I put this on Sunday morning. Me and my son ran errands. I didn't get back home probably to about five, between four and five o'clock that evening. We left out for the um 10 30 service so we left out of the house like 9 50 in the morning i didn't get back home until about five o'clock four or five o'clock that evening i put my pajamas on and lay in the bed and i'm talking four or five days later my bed sheets were still smelling like this stuff that i guess whatever my clothes didn't soak up <laughs> like are you serious I see why Ray Ray don't you ever change this recipe uh, I, I know where you at Ray you in Glen Cove somewhere I'll find you don't ever change this recipe to this Karma Sutra I don't care how much you have to go up if the, the ingredients go up. Don't, 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 don't do it, Ray. You don't need nothing else on. If, if people be spraying perfumes over this child. I could tell you right now, I would be, my eyes and everything be puffed up if I spray any perfume over this, this stuff. Mine's anyway was so strong. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Don't do it. So, before I use Kama Sutra, my favorite one is coconut milk. Let me find coconut milk description. Okay. So, I am back with coconut milk. Now, I told you anything that has coconut or whatever in it. I've, I've always loved cocoa butter. So I always love a coconut scent. And this is a, he the, the way he described this as a freshly grated coconut, creamy almond and vanilla absolute. You got me right there with just them three. I love anything uh, coconutty, sweet, almondy. You so almondy. Vanilla, that's me all the way warm and he said i love the aroma taste and benefits of coconuts in my drink add some strawberry in it you good to go he said food perfumes and skincare products that was me i remember years ago when i was young young i used to buy bath and um the body shop they had like a um Cocoa butter, whatever scent that I loved. And I couldn't, I couldn't use any of that stuff. Whatever they was putting in it, within two days of using it, I was breaking out in the rash. And I would still continue to buy it, use it for my little two, three days until I break out and then go back to Nivea or whatever it was my mother bought. <laughs> um, that's how crazy I was. But I had to get this. And again, I was like, I sure hope this smells like it sounds. Ray, you put your foot into this and so did I. <laughs> if you can see how much I have used of my coconut milk, because this was the only one I was really using at the time because I love the scent so much. 
you get coconut, you get the almond and the the between the coconut and the vanilla. It's just like punching you in the face. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells so good. And it's it's a it's a nice scent that you can put on and go to bed in um where it's not knocking you, you know, like knocking you in the face. Or if somebody hugs you or something, it's like, oh, you smell so good. I need a drink. But um he said, um, that rich and creamy scent inspired me to create coconut milk using the natural coconut aroma from coconut pulp. Ray, why don't you make this in the oil? Bro, we need coconut milk in the oil. I was able to keep the true smell of freshly grated coconut in my products. It literally smells like a tropical vacation with a drink in hand. And it do. It smells like a nice tropical vacation. Ray, we need this in the oil. And of course, yes, I did order me another cocoa, coconut milk on his restock. Yeah, I did. So this next one is Ambrosia. And he, I did tell you his... um. His um, butters are forty dollars. He do have three different sizes, and some of them, not all of them, but I know coconut milk. And this one comes in a one ounce, four ounce, and an eight ounce. Only reason why you would want a one ounce probably is for travel or to keep in your bag to moisturize your hand. Anything else, I don't know why you would order a one ounce. But all of mine were eight ounces. These are all eight ounce cans. So this is ambrosia, and ambrosia is the dark berries, violet, honey, golden amber, warm vanilla, and musk. Nice. Very nice scents. And guess what? Today, tonight was my first time using ambrosia. Um, I wanted to try it out. It smells so good. And it's been sitting all of this time as well. So as when it comes to body care stuff and oils and butters, the longer you let it sit, the more the ingredients and the scents just marinate to um, give it an even more better smell and bring out some of the other scents. And um, I was like, this smells really nice, even though you can smell the dark berries, but the... Um, the golden amber, the musk, the warm vanilla, um, it tones it down. And then the, the, the honey as well, it still gives it that sweet, but toned down, very soft, um, very nice. Um, and he said, um, as a child, I always was drawn to anything and everything that had to do with magic, metaphysics, and any kind of other worldliness. So I'm thinking, you know, Olympian gods and goddesses. And that's what ambrosia is like a potion, skin potions. Ambrosia is a homage to the magic of that divine elixir. And what I imagine ambrosia would make me feel like when I smell it. I don't know if I get all of that right, but it smelled good. I just like how all of the scents, how how it all came together. I really do. And um, it's another one that, um, to my nose on me, I don't even, I can't, yeah, it's one that I could wear to bed. Um, it's not a sh to on me to where I'm smelling it like that it's not a strong thrower like I would say Karma Sutra but it's it's mellow it's very mellow and this is what I used tonight all over my body so it's very nice now we're going to come to this last one. I know I got y'all on here for 30 minutes. And um, 
I'm sorry, but y'all just got to hear me out on this. The next one I got was Seven Mile Beach. Eight ounce. This one only comes in eight ounce. Now, I told y'all I love anything Caribbean, you know, warm. So that's what I was expecting to get out of the Seven Mile Beach. His description is sea mist, sea misted breeze, juicy honeydews, juicy honeydew turquoise waters. One of his favorite beaches in the world is Seven Mile Beach. I don't know what that is. I remember the moment I laid eyes on its turquoise waters and smelled its salted sea mist. I traveled with a few friends and created the most memorable moments there. Seven Mile Beach honors those moments like a crystal ball that I can look into and relieve the magic. I'm sorry, Ray, but this is my least favorite scent. I can smell the honeydew. I definitely smell the honeydew. And I want to say maybe the longer I, it, that it sits, maybe the more the, the juicy honeydew and whatever else is <laughs> in here will kind of just, you know, marinate. And I want to say when I first got it, it kind of smelled like, I don't know, a scent that you would use to clean with. But maybe it'll change my mind. I've tried like playing with it and mixing it with other stuff, but it, it just wasn't working. But I'm going to continue to kind of play with it to see what I can mix with it to make it more of a scent that I like. And it's not a nasty scent, just, I don't know. It's giving honeydew with some, with some, a fresh scent. That's, it's giving fresh Honeydew is not, honeydew can be sweet, but what honeydew is a very mild um, flavor or scent. Um, it's very mild. Um, I've had some honeydew uh, wax melts mixed with other scents, and it is a very mild scent, so you can't put anything in it that will overpower it. So I believe he used the right amount of other scents or whatever is in this with the honeydew because I do smell the honeydew up front. But it's the undertones. So yeah, I just need to find something that a little that's a little sweeter um, that I can put with this that would give it the scent that I'm looking for. But if you like, like, um, those type of fresh mouth fruit, not sweet, really, you'll definitely love uh, Seven Mile Beach. And I believe it also comes in, uh, it also, I believe it also comes in an oil. And, and let me show y'all. I mean, his butters are really nice and soft. Look at that. It just melts into the skin. Really nicely. His, his, his stuff is really nice. Um, your skin is soft. You're not ashy. It sinks in quickly. You're not left greasy. Um... What am I smelling the top of this thing? Yeah, um, I do like Skin Potion. Um, he will, he will always get my uh, support. I love supporting small businesses. 
Um, he he his products are awesome, guys. They are expensive, but I think it's worth it for the for what he puts into it. Um, organic ingredients, um, handmade. I believe also I heard from one of the YouTubers that he's opening up a brick and mortar. I would say when I'm in New York, I would stop there and stock up. Stock up. Um, if he is opening, they said he's, it should be soon. His brick and mortar. And that's awesome um, that he's able to do that. Um, also, too, when you order from him, again, um, I read you the uh, shipping and how long it takes to process and things like that. So it is one that you order and just kind of like forget about it. I know it's hard to do that, especially when um, you want to get your stuff and you want to smell everything and try it out. But I would say just be patient. As everybody know, I am the least un impatient. But um, I had to be patient because he, he do put that on there. You know, processing time is 14 to 16 days. I do believe that he's um, working on his processing and shipping time. Maybe we're having this brick and mortar. He will um, be able to ship out a little quicker or maybe with more um, employees. I don't know. But basically with his restock, he didn't offer anything new. And so I just ordered a few things that I wanted. I did order um, the coconut milk in, a, in his lotion because he do have a lotion. Is it called lotion? Or is it called cream? Let me see. Yeah, he calls it a body cream. So I ordered the coconut milk because I really, really love the scent. And I was debating if I wanted to do the Kama Sutra cream but I think the butter is enough for me um <laughs> and so the the coconut cream is an eight ounce um yeah it's a uh it's an eight ounce what is that like um yeah so once that comes in and I use it And again, when I tell you about lotions or moisturizers, they all have a liquid in the beginning of it. It's, it's going to be the first ingredient. It's only either going to be water or aloe vera juice. And in his lotions, because they're moisturizers, the first ingredient is, out, is organic aloe, aloe leaf juice. And sometimes they have that in water. This depends. So yes, I did order the coconut milk lotion. It's an eight ounce and that is $48. His, nut, his stuff is not for the faint of heart. It's definitely a splurge. Um, but if you order, you're ordering from a small business with that give, that's giving quality products. Bed, bath and body works ain't giving quality products in my opinion again I couldn't use the stuff I told you but I would break out in a rash all over my body um I can't tell you how many years ago I <laughs> used some I don't even go in there um so just remember that um it costs for quality ingredients um and you're gonna have to pay for it when you get your little taxes Go on over here, see what he got left. He still got some stuff left. Um, from the um, I'm gonna try to put this up to when it's in the wee hours of Monday morning. But he do have a few things left that you can try. He has the cookie butter oil, the cost the Costa del Sol oil is still available. Veil of Venus, the butter and the oil is still available. He has um sugar scrubs on here which some of them are still available he has multiple um fragrances 
these are just the ones I was interested in. Um, in my new order, I did um, get a new um, scent, and it was Utopian Jewel, I believe. It was the Utopian Jewel. Um, yeah, it was the Utopian Jewel um, butter. Um, it, that one is out of stock. Kama Sutra is also, of course, going to be out of stock. But he has like the cookie butter ritual with the butter and the um, sugar scrub for $88. That's still available. Um, Ambrosia is still available in the cream, the body cream. The coconut milk is available in the scrub. The Kama Sutra and Seven Mile Beach is still available in the scrub only. He has a dark musk available in the scrub. Cookie butter and Costa del Sol in the oils are still available. And again, all of the vows of Venus, scrub, butter, and oil is still available. So... Hopefully, you could get on there and try one. At least you'll get the sense of the scent if you like it and how it feels. But I would definitely say if you like Caribbean fruit, coconut types of scents, get that Costa del Sol. If you got the, the $100, $114 with tax to spend and also... um the cookie butter oil is still available. The ambrosia cream is still available so you can try it in the lotion. So that's what I would say. Try out, try that out. And then when he does another restock, you can say, oh, I really do like his products. Let me venture out some more depending on what scents you like. So that is my skin potion. Sorry, it was 46 minutes long, but I had a lot to unveil for y'all. And um, I just wanted to, you know, give the review is due diligence. Um, great job, right? I do like your products and, um, you know, just keep moving up, brother. So until then, till the next time, peace. Give me that thumbs up on the way in.